I can't believe it's May in game and we've got this much snow. Uh, that means that what we can't do today is plant the new grapevines in this field because it's just too frozen. And I have a feeling with the amount of snow that we've got falling at the moment, this is going to get deeper before it gets lighter. <laughs> Hello and welcome along and welcome back to a very, very snowy old stream farm. I, I cannot believe that we've got snow again. So out of our three days of spring, uh, we've had two full days of snow. Uh, that means that what we can't do today is replant our grass, uh, re uh, sorry, plant the new grapevines in this field because it's just too uh well it's it's too much snow on the ground we can't we can't do it it's it's too frozen what we are hoping though is that later today we might be able to do that because we will have um well we got sun on the way so we'll have the snow gone it should melt and uh, and work well for us there so that's all good. However, in the meantime, we do have some jobs to do. Our lettuce have run out of seed again. So we need to go and purchase some seed for there. Uh, we also want to start looking at possibly getting the spinnery and the setup for that. So uh, there's that too. We're going to need 60,000 to buy the spinnery and to start processing our wool. So, uh, yeah, we need about another 30,000. We, of course, do have a whole load of money to spend on getting the new vines in as well. So I've got to watch that. Uh, I think we might try and sell some lettuce today. If this snow takes a while to clear up, uh, it would be a, yeah, be a real pain uh, if we got to really late in the day uh, before this clears. And I have a feeling with the amount of snow that we've got falling at the moment, this is going to get deeper before it gets lighter. So let's reverse this up. Again, we can't see out the back of here. Thankfully, the uh, the old stream is not frozen over. So that's good news. Uh, there we go. Now, I also probably want to... Well, I want to move the wool, which is why I want to get the spinnery. But, of course, we're not going to make any money off that until we also buy the clothing uh, or the, the, the clothing factory. Uh, we can't do that, though, without 100,000. So we need 160,000 to do all that. And as a result, that's uh, not something we're able to do Whoa, uh, very quickly. It's a lot of money to raise. And, yeah, those grapevines right now those are our uh, uh, those are our priority uh, we need to get those in if we can get those in uh, then we're going to be all right for later in the year and and we will easily cover things like the cost of hiring our harvester for this year something i am interested in is eventually buying field six and maybe extending this field a little bit and maybe making another one on the hillside or making a grass field on the hillside uh that would uh, that would go fairly well as well so lots to be doing uh lots to get on with and hopefully by the time we finish doing the uh, bits around the farm today we might actually have some bare ground in which to plant some new grapevines build up one of the greenhouses moving on to the second one uh, we did have a bit more snowfall. It, uh, it did get a bit deeper. Where we're driving, though, uh, we're driving in the same place roughly all the time. And it's creating uh, ruts in the snow. So we, we can see where it's it's gone down as well. But it's... Oh, man. I can't believe it's May in-game. And we've got this much snow. But the seeding seasons, it's it's really, really hitting us hard. We can't do much. I'm so pleased we spent all that time last time getting that field cut, baled, uh, and well, cut, tethered, baled, and rolled because we would just would have been able to do next to none of that today. Certainly, anything beyond uh, anything other than baling, and we would have been stuffed. Uh, it is just the whole thing of 
for realism's sake, I I dare not put uh, grapevines in in this kind of weather. Uh, once it thaws, once we have a a, a, a cl nice bit of clear ground, hopefully that'll be fine. But I think it's going to be late in the day before that happens. So in the meantime, we actually have quite a lot of lettuce we could sell as well. What is the price of lettuce like at the moment? Is it at a, a low or are we at a decent amount? It's certainly on the way down, um, but it's it's about halfway, actually. Uh, 1,999 is the best price. Uh, 1,800, actually, it's not horrible. Yeah, it's it's not horrible, horrible at the moment. So uh, I think we might try and load up some lettuce and get that sold today as well. Um, because any money we can bring in as we go to plant these vines is going to make a big difference. Our last load of water to finish these off. And then we're going to run up to the shop and load up up there. So there we go. Empty that out. And yeah, so we are, we're full on water. We are struggling. We've got no seeds in either and we're low on solid fertilizer in both. So we want to do that. Yeah, we've got nearly a full tank of water left here. So that's good news. Let's get this over to here and get this reversed into here. And then we're gonna go and connect up our flatbed trailer, our other flatbed trailer. And, yeah, I think we're going to get a big bag holder for the front loader up at the shop. Because right now, uh, it's rather hard to lift big bags onto the trailer. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the fuel level in our tractor was actually quite low. So, I'm going to have to put in a new fuel tank at the farm today because we don't have one there right, let's bring this open and open the sides of our trailer uh so yeah we need to get a fuel tank today that is uh that is something that's that's going to be very necessary we've not got into using the methane tractor much so far so that's not something that we uh, need uh to worry about too much uh 30 oh wow there's a that is very tempting for 13,000. Uh, don't really need it at the moment, but yeah, definitely a very tempting piece of equipment. We could uh, we could use that on our own contracts. And uh, somebody did say, oh, you're better off not using your own equipment on contracts and using uh, the uh, equipment that comes with it. Yeah, I can, I can see where you're coming from. Uh, it, it does get us a little bit more money though, if we, uh, if we use our own equipment. So I'm, I'm always a little bit hesitant to to completely rule that out. Uh, what I do want, though, is a bag lifter for here. We can't use the jewel on the piece of equipment we've got. 700, I think that works well. So that is worth it. Um, and then we need some seeds and some fertilizer. This is where this is going to get expensive today. Uh, I want four bags of seeds, I think. Buy four bags like that. And then, yeah, we're going to go with four bags of fertilizer as well. That's a lot of money. Uh, this is why we need to sell, sell some lettuce, because that has been quite a bit. I think the snow might be letting up a little bit. That would be good news. So we'll leave our forks over here for our shaper. So that we can now grab the big bag attachment and load up these uh, bags. I think we've probably only got... Uh, yeah, we should fit all eight bags on here. I'm not expecting that to be much of a problem. I'll bring this around. And you can see the, the grass showing through the snow where I'm driving on it. Because it is just compacting it down. And, uh, and, and making it that little bit lower. So we have got... A really quite substantial substantial amount of uh, whoa of uh, snow on the ground at the moment. These big bags for this are quite heavy. I think I'm going to move the trailer into an 
more easily accessible position. I think I've just about got a handle on uh, using big bags with this piece of kit now. It's keeping it low and then keeping that weight back as much as possible while you're transporting it. And then when you're trying to load it onto the trailer, that's the point at which you can lift it up and swing it out. And that then gets it into place on the trailer. That's actually not quite right. Let's just move that forwards a little bit. Yeah, there. That should be in. Oh, that's close to the edge. Bit difficult in uh, third person. You can't quite see, or first person, because you can't quite see the edge of the trailer. But anyway, this works uh, rather nicely. Yeah, it's just trying to stop this whole thing from wheeling. It's because the actual lifting mechanism is quite far forward. It does like to lift the back off the uh, uh, of this off the floor if you're not careful. Wow, that's really putting some weight on the back of this now. Let's swing that out. A little bit more. A little bit. There we go. And place it on the trailer. And yep, yeah, that's within the bounds. So uh, we can go part this up. And this is the other reason why we only bought four of each. Because... That's really all we can fit on the trailer. So we'll park this outside the shop where it should be. And then we can strap these back two down. That's quite a lot of weight on this. But it should be fine. Fold up our back. And uh, yeah, away we go. This, uh, this disco will be fine fine carrying this much weight on the back and back down to our farm without too much issue absolutely fantastic uh it's just gone 11 o'clock uh the snow is now stopping we've got clearer skies uh and as a result this this snowfall should stop fairly soon what i do want to do is drop the sides of the trailer down like so had to actually start the engine to do that. Uh, and then we'll go and grab our JCB in here. And we need to switch over the spikes we've got on it to our forks. So that we can actually get uh, these unloaded. And, uh, and yeah, we can get our greenhouses running again. Now, this is where the difference in this tele truck versus the the other truck we have. I think with this, we're able to pick up two of these bags at once. Because our weight uh, distribution for the arm is right at the back, it doesn't tend to lift uh, this off the ground quite so much. So, we get lined up here. Oh, yeah, we're massively out of alignment. Grab two bags of seeds. Uh, if we've got our spacing okay. I think so. Right, and in. Yeah, and go as far back as we can without picking up the other bags. Because we want to get it as close to it as possible. And yeah, our old... Front loader would never have been able to do this. Uh, that is just not possible. And we can get them unloaded. I love how these bags shrink as you uh, as you unload them. I and mean, that is just brilliant. Right, we got the uh, fertilizer to get off now. So we'll do the same. Undo, undo. And line it up. I think they're at about the right width. Yes. So in about as far back as I can get them. And it does dip down a bit at the front, but we've definitely got a lot more stability in this here. And then round. And unload it, like so. And again, the bags shrink down until it's all gone. Absolutely brilliant. Really love that. So many really nice features in FS22. So many little bits that got added and uh, and 
even now, what, we're six months after release, it still looks utterly amazing. I'm still, I'm still finding bits of it that I'm just going, wow, I love that feature. And, uh, and yeah, these are, the, the way the big bags work are definitely part of that. It just looks brilliant. And I love these modded, uh, these modded greenhouses as well. They work so nicely too. Really, really awesome addition. And especially with the, uh, the slightly higher output they give. Uh, yes, it costs you more to input stuff, but, uh, at the same time, you make more at the end of the day coming out of them. All right, let's get these two on and uh, then we're done and we can get the bigger trailer on here and start earning some money I think whoa yeah see that's what happens if you put it at the tips this is why we were getting it a lot further back just that added bit of stability uh, but yeah then we can start earning some money from our lettuce today which will be uh, grand as well this JCB has made everything around this farm easier. It is just so much more stable than that front loader we had was. And it just picks up stuff and moves it about with just an absolutely... Well, it just a, it's just a breeze to use this. Uh, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous mod. I know I've, I've said this before with this mod. But I really do recommend popping over to the mod hub and picking this tele truck up. Uh, if, especially if you're running a small yard like I am here. Uh, it just fits in with the, uh, the smaller equipment so well. And as an alternative to a telehandler. Well actually it's something that merges the functionality of a telehandler and a forklift together. It is just ridiculously easy to use. My only, actually, my only problem is something that is a, a, a general problem in game is that there's no bag lifter or a skid steer or a, a telehandler. It's all front loader um, bag lifters, which is odd. All right, let's just drop that off. I do find that uh, I do get stuff stuck on the forks uh, fairly often, but I think that's just a general physics. Uh, engine issue with the game doesn't always like to release pallets when you place them down there we go oh i am not low enough or in the right place one or the other it's pushing these out of the way it does make it fairly difficult to see under the snow sometimes but there we go you see picked up with ease the sun is out and the snow is melting. I think we're going to have a clear field to plant our vines by the end of today, which is very good news. But we are going to need the money to plant them. At the moment, we definitely don't have it. So we've got to finish loading this trailer up. Certainly, it's a great way for us to kill a bit of time, though, until that is done. Uh, we've got one. Oh, no, we've got two on here. So we have had a, a new one generate. Let's get under that side there. Pick that up. And then we can just put it down beside this here. To pick up these two. Like that. Absolutely perfect. And there goes the snow, right? We can now plant... Our uh, grapevines. Everything has thawed enough. Uh, we just need to finish getting these loaded up and get them sold. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go plant some grapevines. Brilliant. Not the prettiest bit of stacking I've ever done, but we are nearly fully loaded onto the trailer. Just need to get these last two pallets on. Back it off. And there we go. Just gonna leave this in this shed here for now. Wait, my butt. We'll strap these down. There we go. And where are we going? The best place to sell lettuce at the moment is the restaurant, which we've not been to before. So we're gonna tag that. We'll have a look for our beacon, which is behind us. 
So best way out is probably going to be via, oh yeah, definitely via uh, fields 7 and 9. Or actually, maybe we can get out via field 6. We seem to have a fair way around that way. So I'm going to try and go out that way. It sort of rounds, yeah, rounds out here. And we'll head up this road. And this should, with any luck, lead me out and in towards the restaurant. All right, restaurant is just to my left here somewhere. Oh, there we are. All right, how do we get into there? Okay, I think oh, we should be able to just pull around here. Uh, this, right next to us, is the clothing factory while we're here. So, I right, need to back that up slightly. Yep, that is emptying out. It's a fairly small place. There we go. See how much we make in total from this. Last two pallets. Oh, yeah, we are well above 21,000. So that just did an amazing setup. Uh, we, we made 10,000 just from unloading those. That's brilliant. Uh, now this here, this is the clothing factory needle and stitch. And that is 100,000. Yeah, the tailor shop. So in order for us to get that, it would be uh, fairly expensive. Oh, wow. And we can either change our clothes here. That's, I like that. That is a very, very cool function. Right, I don't think it's going to be very easy to get the car out of here. So we'll reverse out instead and go very carefully out onto the road. Hopefully we'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. There was a car coming the other way. And we can't go this way because that is no entry. So it's back just near the farmer's market. And now we can go and plant some uh grapevines perfect right let's park the landy up here just outside the workshop and the house uh, without getting stuck in the clothing uh lines again uh two full pallets of eggs is really good we've got so much eggs so much wool it's it's brilliant right so we are going to now get this field planted with grapevines I'll take a step back and we'll stand on here on the wood. That way we're nicely out of the way and we should go production orchards, grapevines. There we go. So 105 per line. We'll come in slightly. How much space did we leave? Okay. So let's just test this. So at least two vine widths. So... Uh, two vine widths from the edge here is there okay so that gives us roughly starting point of that tree we'll come in a little bit and then we'll see wow okay so that is how much this field is going to cost us to get some vines into uh, I've got no way of absolutely making sure that this is straight other than if we set ourselves on the actual side of the field. Right. I think we're not going to be able to afford as much as I'd hoped here. So what I'm going to do is going to take this in to this point here and we're going to add some more vines in the smaller area here because i think that will allow us to uh, run it fairly well so let's take a vine from here right back to about yeah, I think very difficult to see because of the tree, but there. Yeah, so there.
I think that's straight. It's, uh, thought there was some way to get these to snap, but I don't think there is. So I'm actually going to go... Because of this tree here and because of how hard that is to see, I'm going to go like this from there. Try and line it up. That's as close as I can get. There we go. Hopefully that is pretty straight. So we want to get that as close as we can and then like that. And we're basically going to spend as much money as we can getting them out on this side of the field. Now, is it possible? It's not possible to extend one. So... I don't want to do... So that's 12 that so we can get a single row there there we go that's placed there and okay right so the next thing is we're gonna go demolish and at this point we need the extra cash so we are going to sell the pigs let's get those sold Twenty thousand is gonna do us about one row but there we go oh wow and then we've got, uh, yeah, we'll get rid of the manure heap. Uh, which, that's the thing. These are going to sell stuff all over the farm. So I don't quite want to do that. Yeah, there are various, what else goes red if I select that? I don't know what it is. I am going to, I'll probably try and clear those up later, actually. They're not going to give me any money. Right, and now having sell, sold the pigs, we can put in one more of those. We're going to have to borrow a lot of money or get a lot more money in before we can put lots more rows of these in. Because that is... Oh, man. That is not... Quite that far over the field. I think it might be something that we do as we go through the... Uh, as we do next year. In fact... In fact, how much more can we borrow? Not that much, I don't think. Uh, so that will get us one more row. Get us one more row, maybe. We are up to 500,000. That is all we can borrow. So, yeah, let's do that. Orchards there. Oh, I'm standing in the wrong place now. Let's get over here. All right. And then under here, orchards there. Yeah, we have made enough money to get one more of these in. We cannot get a second. It will cost too much. Yeah, there we go. So that is it. That is how much we can put in this year. That's not the end of the world. That's a decent amount we've got in here. Uh, we also have a lot of grass field left. So we will cut this uh, and we will make more from this. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is just repay the little bit of extra loan that we had. And, yeah, that'll be how it's, uh, how it's going to be. Uh, some more vines over this side, making us some more money. But not the entire field. This is going to take probably about 100,000 to do here. So then it's a question of, are we going to do the wool first or are we going to do the, uh, are we going to do the wool and the clothes or are we going to do the vineyard? I think we're probably going to end up doing the wool and clothes and using the money from that to 
to fund the rest of this field. Uh, next time, we're going to be looking at the rest of our vines. We've got, uh, we need to cultivate and we need to mulch between them. So uh, as we go into summer, we will be doing that. But for today, I think this is where we're going to leave this. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below. Follow on Twitch to watch live. And for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.